Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes,
tell that this was uh, uh, what type of an uh, uh, accident this was? Uh, yes, sir. It was a uh, single vehicle accident where, um, or not single vehicle accident, but they, the community had struck another unattended vehicle. And it's got the uh, driver of the one, of uh, unit one listed right there. Is that name spelled correctly? No, sir. But nonetheless, it linked you to, it gave you a name of Chamir, is that right? Yes, sir. And this happened, you said, on, on what date? It was on uh, the 17th of March, about 2 a.m. And so you're looking, this is on March 19th is when you're, you're doing your research, and this uh, had happened just two days before. Yes, sir. In the early morning hours of March 17th. Yes, sir. So now that you had a name of... Uh, Billy Chamirmir, did you start doing research on Billy Chamirmir? Yes, sir. And uh, were you able to develop a phone number uh, that linked to Billy Chamirmir? Yes, sir. I was able to locate a phone number. Okay. Uh, did you also develop a, an alias to Billy Chamirmir as well? Yes, sir. And uh, do you remember what that alias? It was Benjamin... Uh, Kubota, if I, if I don't mask her, the last name. Maybe Kutoba? Kutoba, yes, sir. Uh, Can you spell that again for us? Yes, ma'am. It's going to be K O I T A B A, and that's King Ocean Ida Tom Adam Boy Adam. Thank you. So you had a name, you had an alias, you had a phone number. Uh, did you look to see if there's any outstanding warrants for uh, Mr. Tremere? Yes, sir. I found that he had an outstanding warrant for public intoxication out of the Dallas Police Department. Can I take this witness on board our briefing? You may. So, uh, take the Jonathan, I see that you're up there reviewing something. Can you tell me exactly what that is you're reviewing? This is my supplemental report, sir. Approach, you may. Sure. Any other reports? Uh, it's a copy of the action report. Uh, a, this is a, a search warrant for the phone. This is a briefing sheet that provided other detectives the next morning. The rest of these are just other reports. If there's other detectives who are reading out these reports, you need to recollect his memory of the press that has to be done so properly. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Offer states of number 66. And we'll review our previous objections, Judge, in regards to states of number 66. All right, so noted. Is it admitted, Judge? It is admitted. And this basically is just a, a an arrest warrant for a, a Class C ticket for uh, public intoxication. Yes, sir. So this is uh, happening on the on the 19th. On the 20th, uh, did you and other detectives of the, of the Plano Police Department get together to discuss what you're about? Yes, sir. 
and uh, what did you all decide to do uh, as far as apprehending Mr. Chu? Um, I did a briefing sheet uh, and we had pictures of him, associates, vehicles, map locations, and provided to several other detectives in our department. Uh, I provided phone numbers um, for himself, uh, his wife, and Detective Benzik to get GPS locations for his phone to find him to arrest him for the location. Researched other uh, possible locations he could be and sent several detectives in different areas where he could possibly be. Uh, basically, any address that you had that might have been associated with, with Mr. Tremere, you had detectives out looking for him in those locations? Yes, sir. Uh, you had mentioned that Detective Benzik. Is that uh, another detective at, your, at the Plano Police Department? Yes, sir. And uh, is Detective Benzik kind of a specialist in uh, phones and, and technology? Yes, sir. Uh, did, uh, was there a, uh, a warrant uh, written uh, for Mr. Tremere's phone? Yes, sir. And uh, tell us what that does. Uh, Detective Benzik did an evidentiary and a uh, and a GPS or excuse me, warrant to the phone company requesting historical records and GPS locations for Truman Bear's phone. And uh, when they uh, when that information comes back in, how is it sent back in to you all as far as the GPS location? Uh, via email, sir. Every fifteen minutes. And were you one of the recipients of the information that came back on that uh, on those emails? Yes, sir. Uh, do you recall uh, what time your first um, email came back in with a, a, a potential location of Mr. Tremere's phone? I do not recall the exact time. I'd have to refer to uh, my supplement, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, it was at 1732 hours. Okay. So that was the, the first report. The first ping came back. Is that what we call them, kind of pings? Yes, sir. All right. The first ping comes back at 732, or I'm sorry, 532, for those of us who aren't that familiar with military time. Uh, so at 532, the first ping comes back. Did that lead you, did that give you a whole lot of information? It, it, sh it showed that Jameer Mirror was in the area. Um, but at the time, the, the ping radius is large, and, and, it, and so it, it just showed that he was possibly in that area. And the area that it was, uh, was centering around, uh, was it close to his home? Yes, sir. Did you receive, 15 minutes later, another ping? Yes, sir. Permission to approach? You met. And what time was your next ping? It was at 5.47. And then there again, was that, uh, did it put you right on him or did it put you kind of, again, too, too generalized to find him? Yeah, just in the area, sir. Now, where are you when all of this information is, is coming in? I was at the Planet Police Station, sir. And uh, are you how, do you, how are you communicating with other detectives? I'm on the, I'm on the radio with them and, and also calling them on the phone. And you said you're a part of uh, the intelligence unit. Yes, sir. And is, uh, there are other members of this intelligence unit in different areas of town trying to, uh, to work this out? Yes, sir. And at the time, most of us are at that 4500 Peerage just because that was the, the best known location for him at the time. Did you learn of uh, that Mr. Chamira was apprehended? Yes, sir. You know exactly the time? I believe it was 1755 hours at the time I had. Uh, after that, what did, where, did, where did you go or what did you do? Um, at that time, um, I, I didn't go to the scene of the arrest, uh, but later I'd gone down and kept eyes on apartment, I believe it was 3110, uh, which is Tremere Mirror's apartment until a uh, search warrant was completed there. Okay, so after the arrest, you go to that 4500 Pier Ridge to keep an eye on the apartment while the search warrants will be written. Yes, sir. 
And did anyone come or go from that apartment uh, while you were watching? Not that I recall, sir. I'll pass this. Um, Detective, just briefly, um, and I, I think you kind of cleared up a little bit, Mr. Fitzmartin, but when you say um, you guys were describing that Shamir Mir was in the area, but what the data actually tells you is that, is that the device or the phone is what sent the ping, is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, you have no idea who may have that phone or anything to that effect, is that correct? That's not correct, sir. How so? Because we, we were able to identify that from previous information. We, we got that he was utilizing that phone number, which leads us to believe that he would be in the area, sir. Right. So when you're receiving these pings, I believe you said at 532 and 547, you just knew that that phone number associated or you believe was associated with Mr. Shamir Mayer. Was that correct? Correct. You didn't know if that, who, what individual actually may have had that phone, correct? No, sir. Until, until he, the person was arrested, you had no idea who had the phone, right? Not correct, sir. Okay, I'm not. Because based on the research we did, we believed he had the phone. Correct, you believed, but you didn't know until he was arrested, correct? It's a simple yes or no answer. You just stated you believed that he had that phone. Yes, sir. And until he was arrested was when you were certain that he had the phone, correct? You're not, yes, sir, until we were certain that he had the phone, correct? Thank you, that's all I have to do. You actually got a third ping, right? Yes, sir. And do you recall what time that third ping came in? Um, I believe it was at uh, 6.02 hours, but I'd have to look at my supplement to make sure. Mr. Coach? You might. Yes, sir, is it 6.02 hours? And where did that ping hit from at 6.02? It was, it was hit at the arrest location of the Tremere So you went from the first ping was really wide, second ping was smaller, and the third ping was right where he was arrested. Yes, sir. It was a very, that last ping was very small. I'll pass the next. No, 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 no. All right. Thank you. May this uh, witness be excused? No objection, sir. No objection, sir. All right. You are excused. Thank you so much. Thank you, Judge. Appreciate it.